Fox Sports' very own Jay Glazer revealed exclusive footage of the Patriots production crew being confronted by Bengals security after being caught filming the sidelines last week. In the video, the Patriots videographer said he was unaware of the rule against recording the sideline and offered to delete the footage several times. Bengals security could be heard chuckling and saying that the damage had already been done. A supervising producer with Kraft Sports and Entertainment released a statement that said he had no intentions to provide any of the footage to the Patriots football operations. So, Shannon, what is your reaction to this video? <laughs> Confirm what I thought to be true all along. And, and the Bengals got asked all the right questions. As I asked last week, I asked Skip last week, Skip, where is the advanced scout in this footage? That's what the Bengals guy says. Okay, I understand that you're doing this, mm -hmm. but where is this advanced scout? He's filming him as he's filming the sideline. If the Bengals guy does not interject, how long do we think this goes on? I don't think it stops at eight minutes. I think it only stops after eight minutes. Once the Bengals guy says, I've seen enough. Mm -hmm. I know what you're doing here. The video focuses on the sideline, which is more than what you can gather from the coach's tape. And this is all I need to know. If the advanced scout break, if the, hold on, if the advanced scout, okay, he's shooting this. I just need to know, does the advanced scout looks at this, this tape, mm -hmm. gets his information and gives it back to the uh, football operation side? If that's the case, we have what we had in the beginning, Spygate 2. It's hard for me to believe because the advanced scout works for football. Now, all of a sudden, he's doing a job that has no football relation to the matter. I, I just can't understand this because they say this is Kraft Productions. This Kraft don't care nothing about no do your job. When you do this, when you film that sideline, there's only, there are only a handful of people that's going to benefit from that. Because the, my notion is, is that advanced scout, you don't really want to tell him what you actually do. You're going to say, hey, Hey, he would be sitting up here right now. He'd be watching the Cincinnati Bengals. He'd be watching defensive uh, fronts. He'd be watching secondary. And what he's trying to do is trying to deduce what's going on. If the Patriots, you know, when, uh, um, when Cleveland got into this formation, this was the front, this was the defense. But when you have that video, it's kind of like what got the Houston Astros. And MLB said, we don't got a problem with you stealing signs. That goes back 150 years since baseball was in introduced. Mm -hmm. But when you use video equipment, to aid you in doing this, this is where we have a problem. The NFL says, we don't care. Look, people are going to steal signals. People are going to steal whatever. But we just don't want you using video to aid you in this process. Skip, the NFL took their time when they did Bounty Gate. Mm -hmm. Spend lots and lots of money. Now, I heard Jay Glazer, and he said they're looking to wrap this up quickly. Yep. See, my thing is the moment that the NFL security... When they got wind of this, when the, that, that Bengals got called NFL security, they should have done what the FBI did. They should have immediately dispense uh, uh, NFL uh, personnel to the, to the uh, Patriots headquarters to make sure there are no takes that are erased. It's hard for me to believe that this is the first time that they've done this. They've just done it under a different guise because in the beginning, Jenny, they were brazen enough to do it straight from the field, even though the NFL told them not to. Now they do it under the guise, we're doing copy, we're doing pieces that show do your job. This is what I thought it was going to be, and Coach Belichick should be gone at the bare minimum for one year, mm. and they should pay a $10 million fine. Mm. At one point last week, you said he should be fired. He should be fired. Given his track record. Yeah, I, I, he should be, but at the bare minimum, okay. he got to get what Sean Payton got for Bounty Gate. That's at the bare minimum. Firing should be to prove, to, uh, let him know that this will not be tolerated, because clearly he didn't learn anything from his first. Okay. So, I would first like to applaud Jay Glazer for acquiring this video and this audio. Well done. Very impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, this is my two cents from where I sit, this video and audio was no more incriminating than what we already knew because I learned nothing new from it above and beyond what had already been reported about the incident in question already. It just confirmed that all the reports were dead solid on with their, all their inside reporting. Mm -hmm. So to me, and again, I'm in a tricky position here because I've condemned Bill Belichick for so much else that he has done. But in this case, I stand by what I thought, which is this is completely innocent. So... 
All we had here was a videographer who had never, according to the Patriots, been assigned to go on the road before. Mm -hmm. Unwittingly, unknowingly, sort of accidentally violating a league rule that I think is a silly rule because the way he was violating it was to shoot down at the Bengals sideline from behind. So help me out here. If you shoot straight down from the press box at the backs of the coaches who are signaling, how could you glean exactly what they were signaling? Because you can't see it. You, their backs are, are covering the signals because you're shooting it from behind. So they're signaling out on the field here. Well, there's no way you could actually see what the signals are shooting straight down from the press box. It's good. It doesn't matter. The NFL says you can't do okay. it. Why so, are you trying to deduce but, where they can't do anything okay. with it? But just for the record, Spygate was about the Patriots shooting at field level from their sideline across the field yes. at Eric Mangini's Jets coaches. So you can full on see all the signals and you can just videotape them and take it in at halftime and decipher and marry it up. Well, Skip, a lot of times when people, first of all, let's be real. When people do hand signals, they're not doing them like this here. Mm -hmm. They're holding their hands up and okay, doing it. But skip. there's too much here that you can't see. You couldn't get it. Well, exactly then why did they do it? High. Why did they do it? Because he was doing it's it's as as they said it was. It's a piece called "Do Your Job" on an advanced scout, and they were showing his vantage point because he's sitting up there trying to do the best he we, can. We know his vantage okay. point. Yeah. We, uh, Skip, all you you don't have to do that. You can tell what he does is he sits up in the press box behind the opposing team sideline, and what he's trying to deduce is that he's looking at the defensive backfield. He's trying to understand the fronts and what they're doing and the formation. If you and, were, and the personnel groups. He's right. trying to chart the personnel yes. groups in and out. Yes. So he's frantically taking notes as, as okay. it's unfolding. So, so let me ask you a question. Guess what would aid that, Jenny? Hmm. If I got a TV, if I got a copy, if I'm fit simming the backside of the coaches, because all I need is that. See, I'm not worried about the signals. All I'm, all I'm doing now is I'm getting the groupings. Okay, and but I'm you can the, get that from, with your eye test, right? You what, think, what, what's the advantage yeah. of this, this yeah, video? Take. What's the advantage? I don't see any advantage. I get it's a rule. I told you it's a silly rule because it, it covers all sorts of videotaping, but the spy gate was from the opposing sideline. Skip, if you think that man has that kind of re recall, that he can remember, okay, they played this, this is the backfield, this is the front, and this is the personnel grouping. What you're doing when you have copy, take it from a guy that studied 14 years of NFL film. Skip, if film did not help, why the hell we do it so much? Because you're, tr you're, you're trying to do plays, not signals. Skip, you're you're, you're looking at the plays. Skip, I can trust me. What you try to do, Skip, is that when you look at... Were you, you trying to steal signals looking at the game tape? What up? No, no, Skip. I'm, I'm listening to the verbiage. I'm not because I'm not paying attention. I let Mike Nim and whomever else is trying to deduce what's going okay. on. But I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to hear verbiage. I'm trying to hear when we go up there and we're in a certain and they yell certain things. And I, I always go back to 1996. We were playing the uh, San Diego Chargers. They were in San Diego, and Junior say, "I rest his soul." Every time we motion to a front, we had no idea they would do this. But Junior say I would say Vegas or Reno. Okay. And every time they did that, they went to cover two. Mm -hmm. Now, we didn't have this in the entire week. I said, Mike, when we motion to this formation, every time you do it, Junior say I said Vegas or Reno, I can beat them down the hole. Well, guess what at the end of the game, Jenny? 13 for a buck 56 and three touchdowns later, we were down 17 nothing. We come back and win the game 27-17. So how did you know that? From the audio, uh, but I'm, so it was electronically taped. No, 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 Skip. But right, I'm, but I'm saying for me in the game is verbiage. Had coach had had Mike them known from through signals, we would have never gotten in that hole because okay. we would have known beforehand. So you were stealing their signals off the audio of the game tape no, you no, were studying. No, 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 no. I got it from in the game. Actual the game. We're actually in well, the I'm, game. I'm saying, but it's yeah. game tape. But you're using an electronically. Uh, taped audio to steal signals. No, Skip, no, Skip. I was not steal Skip. I'm in the game. I'm in my stance. When TD motion, I would hear Junior say Vegas or Reno. I'm not, do I, I, yeah, but yes, game, t yes. Quarterbacks do use game top you can copy hear it. because they got the you mic so and lock. Should that be illegal? Because huh? you're stealing signals off the game tape. Skip. That's the same thing as this is. If the, Skip, if you want to get the game copy and you want to, if you can deduce that, but you don't get the sideline version of it, Skip. If they, didn't, if they were doing nothing wrong, why did they do it? 
because you need B-roll of from the scout's vantage point up on the second row of the press box. This is what he's seeing. So you, so you know, so you, that, so you it, can, it makes total sense. So you can, to me. so you it's can, completely innocent. It's 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 you, innocent it's, yeah. as charged. Let me tell you something. I was a I was, I was a, a criminal I was a criminal justice major, and the one thing the judge will always instruct the jury is you're allowed to use common sense. Mm -hmm. Now, Skip Bayless and others that want to be supportive of this, this regime that's been caught cheating is to say, well, you couldn't do anything and you can get it from point A to point B. But here's the fact of the matter is, Skip Bayless, advanced scouts work for the football department. Mm -hmm. Now, it's hard for me to believe that he's not, that the advanced scout is not going to see the footage and not going to take that information back to Coach Belichick. I just think it's useless information. B-roll video from up in the press box. What can you glean from it? Not much, if anything. There's the, the, no audio the, to, to, the, it. to the Skip, is that when you watch game tape, there's no audio. Why the hell you think I watch football now with no sound? Because I've been conditioned for 14 years not to hear the sound. That's why it doesn't matter to me what they say. I know what I'm looking for. It doesn't make com it doesn't make sense to the average lay person. But I guarantee you, mm -hmm. to the coaches. It makes one thousand percent. Okay. Don't accuse me of trying to support Bill Belichick. No one has been hard. I've been way harder on Bill Belichick than you ever thought about being. Skip. Ever thought about being Skip. in my career. I'm the one calling for his job back when it mattered, when he really cheated in Spygate or taping walkthroughs before Super Bowl. So, so the question goes. Or bugging